Time out on the field. Hey, this is Heath and Andrew and myself been turkey hunting this morning and enjoying some time in the woods. And we begin to talk about how that relates to spiritually and how the devil tries every day to hunt down me and you. How does he do that? The same way you turkey hunt. By using decoys to try to deceive us and trip us up and bring us into a position, into a place that we never wanted to be. So for just a few moments, I'd like to talk to you about the deceptions and the decoys of the devil. When you go turkey hunting, the first thing you want to do, first thing in the morning, or in the afternoon hunt, either one, is you want to use a locator call. That hoot owl call, that crow call. Why do you want to do that? You're trying to get that turkey just to shot gobble, just to gobble back at just whatever you're throwing at him out in the woods because you need to find out a general location before you can ever hunt that bird. Satan treats us much the same way. The first step in his battle plan is he'll want to take a locator call, take something just very gentle and throw it out and see who's willing to gobble back at it, see who's willing to voice their opinion on it, get involved in it. Satan doesn't want to just mess with everybody at one time. He's looking for somebody that's in a position that's already got their life in such a place that he can mess with them. For if we're in Christ, we're walking in a deep walk with God, we're prayed up, we've been reading our Bible, we're, Satan's no match for us. He doesn't want to mess with that kind of person. He's looking for somebody that he can find in a location where he can take advantage of them. We've been sitting here just a little while. We just heard a bird gobble over the ridge over there. We've sat down here and we're going to use our mouth call, try to speak the language of that bird, draw him in and trick him into coming in after a hen. And that just like the devil, we go to gobbling back to his locator call and mouthing off about things and then he begins to take this call, speak our language, tell us lies, tell us things that sound real good but have no truth to back them up. He begins to try to draw us and trick us in. What else do we have? We have some decoys set out right over here. We're going to get right here and get real still where he won't know we're anywhere to be seen. And he's going to come in after them decoys and after this call here that I have. And we're going to kill that bird is the plan. Boy, isn't that the plan of Satan? He put something out there for our eye to see, put something in his mouth for our ears to listen to. He tricks us into something that sounds real good, but in the end, winds up bringing death into our life. It may not be a physical death. It may be spiritual, emotional, relationships, things with friends, drugs, alcohol, whatever. He can trick us by getting it in our mind, get it by way of our eye and our ear, and tricking us up. just saw the bird. He's on his way over here. He's gobbling up a storm. He's on his way. We've put our mask on just as Satan puts his mask on. He has no idea we're anywhere here in these woods and we have no idea when Satan's getting ready to destroy us. I believe with this bird coming like he's coming, we've got him. Time out on the field.